How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number three. In this tutorial series where I show you how to get a leap motion motion sensor to interact with a Raspberry Pi. Now um, last video, I'll launch a clip here. The last video we created this leap PC project, um, created a leap PC Java file and we imported all the uh, stuff we're going to need for this um, project and then we just coded the skeleton method so just gave all our methods names now it's time to fill in some code for that method but first before we do that we're going to define the uh, global variables that we're going to need for this so well not global variables I should say instance variables that we're going to need so private socket and we're going to call it socket we're not going to initialize it yet, so just some finish it off with a semicolon after the name, and then private print writer out, and then private sorry private static int server underscore port I'm doing it all in capital letters the name because um, any constants I just always put them in capital letters just to emphasize them so that's gonna be the server port that we're gonna connect to on our computer and on the uh, Raspberry Pi so it's really it doesn't really matter which number you pick um, just six six thousand is what I'm going with and I know it has to be above some number. I can't remember the exact number it has to be above. Um, so just go 6,000. Um, yeah, because that's what I'm going to use. Anyway, so now that we have all our instance variables created, in this tutorial, I just want to go over coding our leap motion methods. So that would be the on connect and the on frame method, which are the methods that are going to uh, be needed for... Uh, when we connect our motion sensor to the computer and then this one is for each frame we get from the motion sensor so we're going to do that we'll handle all the server stuff later so here we go now for the on connect method it's going to be simple all we're going to do is first print out so system.out.println and we're going to print out connected so a little message that our motion sensor is connected to the computer now what we have to do is enable all the gestures we're going to use. So in this case, controller dot enable gesture. And the gesture we're going to pass in is gesture dot type dot type in all capitals. So the, the second type has all capitals underscore and then the first one is the circle gesture oops I spelled gesture wrong here alright so that was the first one our circle gesture I'm gonna copy this line to save time for the next one the next gesture we are going to enable is our swipe gesture and then uh, we don't need, I don't think we need this screen tap and the key tap gestures. No, I have them on my notes. I have them uh, enabled, but we don't need them, I'm pretty sure. But if we do, we can just add them later quickly. Now, for the on frame method, the first thing we have to do is create a frame, which we get. Um, we're going to create a frame called frame, and we're going to get that from the controller dot frame method. So every second, the leap motion motion sensor returns almost 300 frames. It's actually 290 to be exact. Um, and every time a frame, you know, is sent to the computer, this method is going to get called. So each time, we want to get the most recent frame from the controller. All right, and now that we have the frame, here, let's just get into all the motion detection stuff. So, first thing we're going to do is a for loop for finger F, and we're going to get this from frame 
dot fingers, which returns a finger list, which is a unique list to the Leap Motion library. So for each one of these fingers that is detected inside the frame, we want to check to see if it's the index finger. What we're going to do is have the cursor on the Raspberry Pi follow the position of our index finger. So uh, then we're going to do an if statement. So if f so our finger dot type is equal to type dot type with all capitals underscore index with all capitals and f dot is extended so what we're going to do is we're going to have the cursor follow our index finger but only if that index finger is extended so if the index finger is extended pointing at the screen well then it's going to follow that position you know if we're typing index finger is not extended it's not going to follow the cursor because that could just cause some problems all right well now that we got that well, now that we've determined you know it is our index finger what we want to do is we're going to create a vector called finger POS which is short for position and we're going to set it equal to f dot stabilize tip position there is a tip position method which returns the position of your uh, fingertip but it's not very steady so even when you're trying to hold still you know the human body can't stay completely still so that your cursor is flying around the stabilized tip position recognizes when you're trying to hold still so that's why we're using that one the next thing we want to do is use the interaction box interaction box takes the leap motions field of view which is about 150 degrees so not you know it's more like a triangle and what it does is you know it uh, like adjust the position coordinates so that it would fit on a computer screen a square computer screen um, yeah so anyway we're gonna use this uh, interaction box we're gonna create a new one interaction box I'm gonna call it box I'm gonna set it equal to frame dot interaction box now what we're going to do is we're going to take our finger position and we're gonna reassign it a new value we're gonna set it equal to box dot normalize point and we're gonna pass in that finger position so what did we do here we got a stabilized tip position for our index finger we then created an interaction box and we normalized this finger position point so that it is better you know for following you know on a computer screen I'm not sure exactly how to put this basically it takes the triangular field of view and adjusts the coordinate so that it better fits on a square or rectangular field of view which in this case would be our computer screen now what we're going to do is uh, first print out this tip position so that we uh, get it on our uh, system so system dot out dot print ln and we're going to print out finger pos dot two string all right so it's going to follow the tip position of our finger and let's actually run this now so run oops oh the one thing uh we got to do still is the main method while i'm thinking about it so for our main method let me just flip to that page in my notes so for that we had to create a new instance of this leap pc class and we're going to call it leap then what we're going to do is create a new controller object so controller controller equals new controller and then what we're gonna do is controller 
dot add listener and we're going to pass in leap now to explain this our class extends the listener class that uh, is in the leap motion library these on connect methods and the on frame method are what we do to make a custom listener so uh, then that gets passed into the controller um, basically the listener especially the on connect one it'll tell the controller what to look for so you know what gestures to detect and then the on frame one what the controller should do with all the data that it gets and sends so now that we uh, have done that next thing I'm gonna do is try catch block so it's gonna try system dot in dot read and it's going to catch any exceptions and we're gonna call the exception E and then at the end of our program it's going to remove the listener from our controller so controller dot remove listener leap all right so now we can finally test our index finger stuff that we did oops so this was the problem I was worried about in the last tutorial we do have to use the 64 bit of the library um, okay Uh, one second. So properties. Java build path. This will just take half a second. Edit. External folder. Lib and then the 64 bit. All right. Now we can run this. So what it's going to do is it's following the tip position of my index finger. All right. So that's all we wanted. Now what we're going to do is we are going to move on to working with our, uh, you know, clicking. So when our we want the a click to be done on the Raspberry Pi. So we're going to do an else if for this. So else if f dot type. equals equals type dot type with all capital letters underscore index with all capital letters and oops sorry I was just reading the wrong thing I uh yeah so it should be type underscore thumb my apologies so if our finger is the thumb and and the finger we're going to put an exclamation point to say the finger so f dot is not ex extended basically is what we're trying to say so we put an exclamation mark in front just to say uh, it's it's not so we don't want f to be extended so basically think about it as you're holding your thumb and uh, index finger at a 90 degree angle to each other when you bring your thumb in so it's no longer extended that's when the click's going to happen so think about it is you know the little fake gun you you know you do with your hand whenever you pull the trigger which is your thumb that sort of thing so if it's our thumb all we're going to do is we're going to call the click method which has nothing yet but we're gonna call it the only other thing we want to do the leap motion reads 300 frames per second so in that case um, you know from one frame to the next, your thumb could be clicked. So it's going to be, you know, you bring your thumb in once, it's going to click it like 200 times. So what we're going to do is we're going to do try, and we're going to try to sleep our thread. So thread dot sleep 500. So we're going to pause our program for half a second so that we can click once and then unextend our finger before it clicks again. And we're just going to do another catch exception. E. All right, so that is how we're going to know if we've clicked or not. 
Uh, how much time are we at in this video? Okay, we're already at 15 minutes, so I'm going to stop there for now. The next video, we're going to go over what we're going to do when we have our gestures detected. So that's all I got for you guys this time. Remember to comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.